Hey guys, it's Hayden here from LEGO Productions here with a brand new video on this awesome custom hard case that is actually not Clone Army Customs. I custom decaled this guy myself using water slide decals and I think that it turned out absolutely great. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. So first I'm just going to sort of go through all the details on this figure starting with the torso. This is the first part I decaled, and I think that it turned out really good. I have some minor errors, like down there on the left pouch. There's a little tiny um, rip in the decal. This was my first time applying a decal, so, you know, it's not always perfect. And then also, towards the right side of the belt, another little uh, mistake, but they're so minor, and even, like, the big third-party companies make small little printing mistakes like that, so I don't really mind that much. But basically what is distinctive about this is the nice blue lines running through the torso and also the pouches on the sides. Next I did the back of the torso, and since this was my second time applying, I think that I did a much better job. I think I'm getting better every time I apply a decal. And the back isn't that unique except for just those two blue lines running under the uh, little computer area. And a lot of people will tell you that the arms are the most difficult part, but I actually for some reason found these really easy. They just happen to stick right in the perfect position and I really like arm printing. It definitely sets it off from other LEGO figures and I really like the look of it. And the other arm is actually identical. So for the legs, what I did is I actually did not decal those. I um, actually used LEGO Clone Trooper legs and that was mainly because I wanted to keep the ability to move the legs freely and I didn't want the chance of a decal sliding off whenever you position the figure. So I just went ahead and went with Lego design. So the face is actually the hardest part, obviously, because those are just so small whenever you put them in the water, and they're so hard to peel them back and place them. I was using tweezers, but they really did not work that well. And as you can see, there's a little bit of tearing under the eye, but Overall, from a distance, it really looks accurate, I think, and it looks great, and I'm happy with how that turned out. So, basically, I wanted to give uh, overall decals just a try, because uh, first off, I did not want to pay for a Clone Army Customs hard case, because I wasn't going to use the helmet, so it seemed kind of like a waste for that, and I also knew that I had to decal the face decals, or the face tattoos anyways, so why not go ahead and decal the whole figure, I said. So since this was the last thing that I needed to finish for my Hard Cases Death Scene mock for the 501st collaboration, I am finally finished with that mock basically, and I would expect a video in one to two weeks, probably um, this coming week, because all I need to do is make the slideshow and edit it, and then I'll be finished. And for you guys who are fans of the actual minifigure right here, I will be doing more water slide decaling on new minifigs, so expect to see some maybe 501st Troopers, Commander Wolf, Cody, Bly, uh, Rex, just to name a few, and also some maybe non-Star Wars things like sports jerseys, um, I don't know, some other movies that I like, and just some other themes in general, since basically the possibilities are endless, and I have a lot of torsos that I can just quickly erase and then apply decals. So that's about all for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and may the force be with you.